Okay, so from question 12, you have to sort of use the product rule of integration, which is the integral of u times dv <coughs> equals uv minus the integral of v du. So firstly, you're going to assign uh, your terms. So let's say u equals x, and let's divide up these terms. So this is one term, this x is one term, the sine 10x is the second term. So u equals x, du equals dx, or 1, doesn't really matter, um, and dv equals sine 10x, and v <coughs> equals... Let's begin with... Sorry. Okay. Uh, and v equals the integral of sine 10x. So the integral of sine is negative cosine. So this is negative cosine. You got 10x. And then the thing is here, when you take the derivative of negative cosine x, it's going to equal sine 10x. But then you also have to do the chain rule, which in this case, it would be 10, because you take the derivative of whatever is on the inside of the trigonometric function. Um, so this actually would be negative 10 cosine 10x, but this dv right here is sine 10x. So what do you have to do? To get that 10 to cancel out, you've got to divide this by 10. So these are all four of our points that we need. So then we can just put it into the equation. So we have u times v, which is x times negative cosine 10x. And this is all over 10. Minus the integral of v times du. So you have to, again, integrate negative cosine 10x over 10. So what you're going to do is the integral of negative cosine is negative sine. So then this subtraction sign goes away. You're left with sine of 10x. But now you have to think about it a little bit because you have sine 10x, and when you, when you derive that, you're left with negative cosine 10x over 10. Now to get this 10 at the bottom, you're going to have to put this all over 100 because when you derive, you're going to have the 10 at the beginning of the of the uh, derivation or whatever it's called. And then to get the 10 on the bottom, you got to divide by 100 is 10, divided by 100 is 1 tenth, and that's where you get this 10 on V. And then you have the derivative of du, which is, um, you know, x. I don't think we need that. Do you need that? Well, you just need to, you just need to realize that this dx doesn't just go away. It's being replaced with du, and so we're integrating with respect to u. But then, in the very end, we plug in u, the u u back in, okay. and and so when we plug the u back in, then we get our uh, sine of x, and then our uh, sine of, or I'm sorry, sine of 10x, and our x's, and all the things that we need. So yeah, this is technically the form of the answer. We'll plus c. Don't forget plus c. Um, and to get it into the way the form is written in the practice test is you're just going to throw the fraction to the outside. So you have negative one tenth from the negative cosine, the one and the dividing by ten. X cosine of ten x plus the one over a hundred sine 10x then plus c and that should be your answer and that would be b there you go